Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. All right, let's just get right into it. A lot of uh, chatter, of course, about these big tropical waves out there. There is nothing imminent. There is not definitely going to be a hurricane or, or something like that, but there is a higher probability that this tropical wave here does develop into a tropical storm. Not necessarily quickly, but at least down the road. So I want to get into the most likely path of this, what it means for us in the Caribbean, get a look at those steering conditions in the big three models, the ICON, the American, the European, all three in this video, plus what I'm seeing in the environment. This may be catching your eye too, not organized near the Bahamas. We've had that rain near parts of Texas and Louisiana here, nothing organized, but just know that I'm watching everything and more tropical waves back behind this main one. You see it here, and this is not better organized than yesterday. That's some good news. Uh, we don't need these to organize quickly. Don't want them to organize at all, but if they do, I would want them to take their sweet time. So watching this one here, this one uh, most of the models are not picking up on development now. They've kind of shifted to this one back here. A wait and see. Those are way out there. But I want to pay a lot of attention to this one because that one is closer to home, right? Uh, just, just for the sake of safety and what we can expect, this is the one I'm going to focus on in this video. But I'll show you the big picture in a moment. So uh, you get back toward Grenada, Barbados, Dominica, Trinidad, all this action uh, to the east of St. Lucia here, and it will kind of start to move in. The dry air is now to the north or down to the south. And that's the problem with this one is this, this tropical disturbance is setting the stage for these back behind it. It's kind of clearing that path, making the atmosphere more conducive to development, unfortunately. So now back, back home, watching out for some scattered areas of storms, and you see these bigger blobs here, even near the Cayman Islands and over toward parts of Cuba, uh, these brighter colors mean taller clouds, which means a lot of rain in some of these. So we're still watching out for those isolated areas of flooding. Now, here's the most most likely path of this first uh, tropical disturbance or the kind of closest one to us. This is going to change, but as it stands right now, this is what I'm seeing. I'll let you know, like to let you know everything that I'm seeing, thinking, and uh, just uh, we'll shift it and change it as we go forward. But by Monday, this tropical disturbance will be very close to Barbados, and then Monday and a Tuesday near uh, Guadeloupe, Dominica, Martinique, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, we'll see some heavier rain. At this point, I'm not seeing it developing into a tropical storm yet. That is some better news. That was more of a concern yesterday. Still watching it though. There's a slight chance it tries to spin up into a tropical storm, but it is now more likely that it becomes a tropical storm, say just to the south of Haiti. By Wednesday, it'll be just south of Haiti in the Dominican Republic. Here's Puerto Rico, British and U.S. Virgin Islands, Anguilla, Antigua, Barbuda. Now, if this develops into a tropical storm, uh, by the time we get into the middle of next week, I'll have a good handle in advance on where it's going to go. Does it shift toward Jamaica? Does it go to the north? Or or maybe it doesn't develop at all. The American model doesn't even want to really develop this at this uh, point, at least at, at here, kind of wants to develop it more over here. So it, it's still a wait and see, but this is kind of the most likely scenario I'm seeing now that a strong tropical disturbance moves through and then eventually it starts to spin up potentially into that tropical storm by the time we get into the middle and maybe even end of next week. There's a lot of time between now and then, so I'll be uh, kind of uh, tweaking that. The icon model does have this eventually become a hurricane somewhere uh, either in the Caribbean or swinging up toward the Gulf of Mexico. The icon uh, is very aggressive with this, but it's been a little bit off. It would have already had it nearing tropical storm strength at this point a few days ago. That's not the case. The American model does, as I mentioned, make it a tropical storm, but not until it gets a little bit closer to Belize or Honduras. And then you, and I'll show you that the European model has it becoming a tropical storm in the Canadian Canadian model doesn't even really see it, doesn't have it being anything. So a lot of big discrepancies. It, it's a tricky forecast. Not all forecasts are, are, are the same. Sometimes it's easier to forecast a certain storm versus uh, others. And this one's not even developed at this point, which makes it extra tricky. Let's begin with the icon. Here's Haiti, Puerto Rico, Trinidad, Barbados, St. Lucia, Antigua, Barbuda. This is the more aggressive model. This is out in time. This here is Monday. On Monday, it has a good bit of rain working into the Eastern Caribbean but still not a name system. So that's good news because yesterday it was showing a name system, a tropical storm moving in for us. The ICON model also trying to pick up on some sort of disturbance near parts of Texas and Louisiana. So just monitoring that. Now this here is by Tuesday. So watching this spot here, now by Tuesday, just south of Puerto Rico, the ICON model does have this 
as a tropical depression becoming a tropical storm. And again, this is the most aggressive solution uh, that I've seen. And then you see her by Wednesday would have a tropical storm in the Gulf and another tropical storm. It would have it becoming a tropical storm, if not approaching hurricane status by Thursday, very close to Jamaica. And I bring this up because I know a lot of stuff is out there. So some people may be seeing this and saying, hey, a hurricane's coming to Jamaica. But I'm here to tell you that I am not sure yet. Uh, and there's such high uncertainty, and I'm going to show you that with the other models that show nothing. So as you hear those rumors out there, you'll have the correct information, and that's all I want to put out there is all the information I get, all the information I've been seeing from overnight to put out the correct information. This is the most aggressive model showing some sort of hurricane developing by the middle of next week in the Central Caribbean. That at this point looks to be the worst case uh, scenario, and then we'll see how it just uh, shakes out. Now, I would know well in advance for us in Jamaica of anything is going to be heading our way and give you plenty of time to prepare. But look at this scenario. This is the American model, and then I'll tie in what's going on in the environment because I'm not just looking at the models. Uh, they could be way off. The American model shows on Monday this area right here, the extra rain and storm. So we know that for many of our islands in the Eastern Caribbean on Monday into Tuesday, we're going to have some extra rain move in. I'll watch out for that flood threat. And then right here, this is the spot on Tuesday, late Tuesday, this is Tuesday by 8 p.m., still not developed. And then you see the American model as we get into Wednesday, all eyes on Jamaica, here's Haiti, and you can see it not developed quite yet, but starting to get its act together. And then eventually the American model says, hey, by Thursday, this could start to spin up into a tropical depression. And then after that, potentially into a tropical storm or hurricane. So here's Belize, here's Honduras, here's Nicaragua. It's not super organized, but by Friday, the American model saying, hey, this will probably be a tropical depression or a tropical storm. Then at this point, does it move, say, into Belize? Does it live to the north? I don't know. And anyone saying they do know, um, I don't believe them. I, I don't believe that's right. Uh, I don't like the fear that gets put out there. There's so much, uh, so many question marks uh, with this. And you can see the difference between the uh, icon model, which had a hurricane very close to Jamaica versus maybe a tropical storm uh, just off toward the west of Jamaica approaching Belize. And then you get a look at the European model here. So here we are in the Caribbean. The green would be some of the uh, rain watching these tropical disturbances out here. This is the spot I'm watching and you see not much development in the Gulf of Mexico. Watching the fronts around these areas, high pressure that act like blockers. I try to keep some of the science stuff out of it and just worry about that behind the scenes, uh, so not to worry you uh, about any of that. But let's go out in time here. So this is the setup today. This is the European model, which does a pretty good job with uh, some tropical systems. Sometimes it has big misses too, but all the models do. Now, as we work our way into a uh, Sunday, this would be Sunday, so here's Barbados, extra rain but not a tropical storm, right? That's good. Now I'm gonna be watching to see if it does try to spin up quickly, but I'll, I'll let you know if it does. Uh, and then we have these big fronts across the US. Sometimes those could give us kind of alleyways to allow this to lift to the north. These blockers are over here. So yeah, that's a big question. Does this just continue to shoot through the Western Caribbean towards Central America? D uh, does it take a turn at some point? Now we get a look at the uh, European as we work our way into Tuesday. So this is days from now showing not to name system, but the extra rain near Puerto Rico and just to the south, uh, but not showing any big time organization. Here's a front right here. We have these two areas of high pressure that act as blockers. Sometimes these fronts could grab them and lift them up to the north. Now, going out in time deeper into next week, this is by the time we get into Friday of next week, this is way down the road. Blob of rain here, very much like the American model saying, hey, by Friday of next week, somewhere in the Western Caribbean, this may become a tropical depression or tropical storm. There's a frontier, maybe it swings it into the Gulf. A lot of the very long-term models try to bring this into the Gulf. That would be obviously a big problem with the very warm water temperatures. And then the European model also showing a lot of activity back to the West, trying to move in, another tropical wave near the Eastern Caribbean, another strong tropical wave back behind it. It's gonna get busy in September. We'll just track it storm by storm. Not everything comes at us uh, each, uh, every Every time a system develops is not everyone comes comes at us. So uh, here in the Western Caribbean, end of the week, there could be some development according to the European model. So that's why I showed you the, the, the track. My most likely track is not a tropical storm in the short term, but as it does get near Jamaica, there is that chance it does spin up into a tropical storm. So that's why I showed you that most likely path. You could go back and look at that. Now, one of my concerns is not only the water temperature,
temperatures, the wind shear doesn't look to be uh, too substantial, and that's not a good thing. Uh, so that's why I'm a little, not hesitant, but I'm a little more uh, kind of concerned about this system. We've seen things kind of spin up pretty quickly, and I don't mean that in a way to scare anyone, but just know I'm watching. I'll do the worrying behind the scenes. Just know I'm watching it, and I'll let you know. The wind shear, high wind shears up here. You see this kind of red shading. Those are winds uh, kind of in the opposite direction of a developing system that can knock off the thunderstorm tops. That's a good thing. doesn't allow it to develop. There's not a ton of wind shear. This is by the middle of next week in the Caribbean. So that with the warm weather lends me to believe that, yeah, this can develop into a tropical storm by the middle of next week, somewhere kind of right in here. Then does it shoot into Jamaica? Does it stay to the south? Does it lift up to the north? Not sure yet. And again, again, nobody is. There's such high uncertainty with this, but just kind of giving you everything I'm seeing. All right, we get a look at the scattered showers and storms that are around today. We have some areas of some heavier rain. We've already had some flooding in spots, isolated flooding today. Then as we work our way, uh, this is Saturday into Sunday. This is Sunday, more scattered areas of rain. Here comes some of the moisture. This is the American model showing that extra rain starting to build, but still not developed. And then we'll see kind of how that area tries to develop as it marches its way into the Caribbean. Eastern Pacific on the flip side starting to get quieter and there is that relationship. When one basin gets quieter, the other one gets more active, the uh, Pacific is starting to quiet down, at least the Eastern Pacific, while the Atlantic Basin, we are getting uh, much more active. Now, as far as the seas go, really hinges on what tries to develop. Uh, this is today, a little bit bumpier south of Haiti, and you can see a couple meters here, so seven to about eight feet. This is on Saturday. This is uh, meters, feet on the right-hand side of your screen to keep everyone covered. This is Sunday, but as we work our way into next week, just depends on what develops. You can see the seas, though, are going to at least be building in parts of the Eastern Caribbean early next week as this strong tropical wave heads in and then most likely, eventually, tries to develop into a tropical storm. Northern end of all of this, Atlantic region of Canada, it's going to be front after front the next couple days. You see Saturday. Saturday afternoon, we have one front that's going to start to press in out of Quebec, and then another one right on its heel. So point being, through the weekend and over the next several days into next week, some unsettled weather. All right, let's get back to the rain totals. Here we are in the Bahamas. Now, not all of us get this, but especially central and northern Bahamas, look at this white shading, even the black shading showing up. Some of us will get 100 to 150 millimeters of rain. That's about four to six inches of some rain for a three-day total. So watching out for some of the flooding across parts of the Bahamas. Keep me posted in the comments and I'll be watching you throughout the uh, day. Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Haiti, Southside, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. If you get a downpour, 50 millimeters or two inches of rain will be possible. Not a ton Anguilla, Antigua, and Barbuda, but it's going to, we're going to see the rain chance all increase next week with this tropical disturbance sliding in. St. Lucia, south through Trinidad and Tobago, that's where we could have some higher totals. Barbados, again, watching out for some areas of rain and storms the next few days. Localized flooding, watching that in Trinidad. We had some thunderstorms in some spots. We work our way toward Guyana. The rain chance is a little higher in northeastern Venezuela. And then here, watching out for some areas of flooding. Panama, Costa Rica, and then back through El Salvador in Guatemala. That chance of some flooding around, and we unfortunately had that in parts of Mexico. On the west side, uh, we had uh, some uh, a lot of problems with homes and businesses underwater. Still some very high totals for a three-day total in parts of western Mexico. 150 millimeters of rain or six inches of rain. So thank you for spreading the word about that. Now it stays active. Rain chance 50 to 60% uh, for us in Jamaica, hot scattered showers and storms for us in the Cayman Islands, 40 to 50% chance the next three days. And I know all of us just very worried about next week. I'll do the worrying again. Nothing is imminent and these things are going to change. This one is highly uncertain what's going to happen with this tropical disturbance. 50 to 60% chance of rain through the weekend, Trinidad and Tobago. 50 to 60% in Barbados, of course, going up on Monday. That's when we see that tropical disturbance. St. Lucia, 40 to 50% chance, 50 to 60% chance as we get through Grenada. So everything kind of gets elevated. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, we could have some pockets of uh, flooding as we continue with some of the recovery uh, from Hurricane Barrel. Martinique, 40% chance the next two days. And in Dominica, about a 40% chance of some scattered showers and storms for us. 40 to 50% chance in Guadeloupe, 30 to 40% 
percent chance Antigua and Barbuda it starts to bump up some this weekend and you can see by the time we get into Sunday St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat about a 50 percent chance 30 percent chance in the next couple of days Anguilla and St. Bart's and a 30 percent chance in the next couple of days St. Martin, Saba and Stacia 40 to 50 percent chance of scattered showers and storms through the weekend in Puerto Rico and about a 40 percent chance in the next two days British and U.S. Virgin Islands Bahamas of course that high chance of rain that we already have I was talking about those uh, rain totals uh, more so central in northern Bahamas Turks and Caicos 30 percent chance through this weekend 40 to 50 percent chance of scattered storms in the Dominican Republic best chance in Haiti will be south side by uh, Jock Mel 30 to 40 percent chance in Belize we're going to have some scattered showers and storms in Belize I'm going to keep a very close eye on this tropical disturbance because again long term it may continue to trek to the west so I'll be watching it so thank you for spreading the word about that across uh, Belize Aruba rain chance stays small but we'll get a couple spotty showers possible in Curacao by the time we get into a uh, Sunday even uh, Bonaire rain chance 50 percent in Guyana and about a 30 to 40 percent chance through the weekend in Suriname rain chance 40 to 50 percent the next couple days in Cuba watching out for some thunderstorms and it will get higher that's why I mentioned the flood potential in parts of Costa Rica and Panama as we get into the weekend Nicaragua 40 to 50 percent chance 30 to 40 percent chance in Honduras monitoring the tropics very carefully for late next week Guatemala and El Salvador a high chance of some rain watching out for the flooding I mentioned some of the flooding in parts of Mexico Mexico City rain chance elevated Yucatan some scattered showers 50 percent chance 30 to 40 percent chance in northern Colombia and about a 30 percent chance in the next couple days in northern Venezuela we work our way back toward Bermuda some isolated showers possible this weekend so kind of in monitor mode not not officially in every location but eastern Caribbean we're watching this as of now we're keeping a very close eye on this we're spreading the word about this tropical disturbance in case it were to get stronger quicker but I showed you the most likely path at the beginning of the video so you could go back and look at that and we'll just we'll change it together I'll, I'll tweak it with everything I'm seeing over the next few days it's not an easy forecast very warm water is ahead low wind shear that's the concern with this in September will be active I showed you the European model if you go back and look at that it was focused on kind of one spot but I showed you at the end of that those other areas that we'll be watching out there as well in the Atlantic. So yeah, a lot to cover. Please know I'm watching it. Thank you for spreading the word just to get the correct information out there. I love this weather community. I hope you have a good rest of your day.